probably can't hear me. Uh, yeah, my dad's uh, finishing up this one yard. Um, well, I was supposed to go finish one of my clients' yards today. Turns out that might not be till tomorrow because I ended up taking on this job. Man, this stuff right here, just look at this crap. This is thick. See this right here? Look at that compared to this. Look at that. The difference. It's outrageous. Yeah, so my dad's finishing up the yard for me. I did about... I did that half. He's doing this half. So, hey, it's a good deal. Having fun there? Yeah. Yeah, we filled up three bags that the client gave to me. Those are in the back of the truck. We've just been dumping them back there in that back corner. It's better than nothing. If you need me, I'll be out front. Yeah, the client wanted us to bag this whole yard. Um, he is, uh, he is, uh, he had somebody come and look at the house today. Luckily, it was after I got the front yard done. Um, yeah, that's the front yard. Don't want to show the sign that's over there, because, hey, I think I might just have, yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, he has his house up for rent, uh, so he wanted me to come by and bag the, bag the yard. The front yard wasn't that bad. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slight slope, but it's small. Backyard's flat, half St. Augustine, half Bermuda. It's terrible. It's thick. Um, what he was saying before he left was, he wishes he hadn't waited waited uh, as long as he had to contact me about doing this because he contacted me this morning. Today's Monday, by the way. This video won't, probably won't be coming out till about Wednesday or so. Uh, but yeah, so those are the three bags. And I, yeah, I ended up throwing the weed eater and blower in the back seat. Um... So, uh, yeah, we're almost done. Uh, whenever he gets finished with the backyard back there. Um, my, yeah, my dad helps me out a lot, um, when it comes to, uh, taking me out to my, taking me out to my different jobs. Um, and when, when we go to the job site, sometimes I just ask him, you know, to relax because he's been working all day. And then he just jumps on the weed eater and he, he'll edge everything and, and he'll uh, he'll tr he'll trim everything. Uh, it it's it's great having somebody that will love you out, um, especially somebody that knows what they're doing. Um, because um, I'm not sure how long my dad's been doing this. Um, he actually works uh, for Parks and Recreation uh, for the county. Uh, but I've been doing lawn care since I was eight years old. So, and he's the one that taught me. So, hey, if I know what I'm doing, he sure does, he sure does know what he's doing. But anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, this is about, uh, I wouldn't quite say this is out of my comfort zone, uh, th this yard, because it's a little bit further out than most, most, most of my others. Um, it's, it's a few miles away from, uh, from where I live, but it's not too bad, uh, It's a pretty nice neighborhood too. The, a lot of the houses are too close together for my for my taste. But oh well. I have no idea what time it is. Let me look. It is 7:55. It's almost 8 o'clock. This car is about slammed to the door. The truck. But anyway, uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll finish up pretty soon. Shouldn't be no more than about maybe 10 more minutes, and then we'll be headed out. So I'll pick it up then. Got it done. Uh, we're both tired. He's probably going to go home and take a shower. I'm going to go home, 
eat. Eat shit and party. Yeah, I, I guess <laughs> whichever way you want to look at it. I usually don't shower till in the morning, so I'll just probably rinse myself off and change my clothes. But anyway, um, yeah, that was that. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll probably pick it up either when I get back to the house or tomorrow. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That that yard, that yard was tall. You know that path that you had trouble getting through in, in about the middle of the yard up towards the house? Yeah. I've never seen St. Augustine that thick. No, he, he even said he should have done something before it got out of hand. Yeah. You know what I told him? What? In front of his wife? Damn right you should have. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that house if he just put it up for rent or if it's been up for rent for a couple of weeks now. Because he said he'd have a few available for me to do. And he said that when Bill moved out from across the street. Speaking of speaking of Bill, I need, he paid me 15 extra dollars to uh, trim the bushes in the front yard and I haven't done that yet. So I need to do that. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh. Today, um, I got home from school maybe an hour and a half ago. I just sat down, relaxed, uh, did a little bit of homework, and watched a little bit of the YouTubes. And I decided, hey, you know what, I need to go finish this guy's backyard. He's already paid me. So, come out here. All I have to do is mow his backyard because Saturday when I went to go do his yard, I already did all the trimming and edging. Uh. Uh. So, all I'm doing is uh, going to mow the yard. I'm not bagging it today. Um, he said next time I come, start bagging it for him. And he'll start paying me extra for that. Uh, so, I'm just going to put the side discharge on it. Uh, dang it. This deck got clogged up with all that grass from yesterday. Hoo, hoo, hoo. It was bad, I tell you what. I got home, took it off the bed of the truck. <laughs> it made a mess all over my driveway. That was great. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, so the only thing I'm taking with me today is the mower and the blower. The only two things I'm taking with me here. Throughout the summer, most of the time, oh, uh, if my dad wasn't home and I needed to get the yard done, if I could wait on it and I, and, um, I wasn't in a rush... I'd, I'd get him to take me, but if I was in a rush and it needed to get done, like the client wanted it done then and there, I'd walk to their house. Um, and hey, a lot of a lot of my yards are within my neighborhood anyway, so it it's no big deal having to walk to them. You know what? Yeah, I'll probably bungee my uh, blower because the platform on my other lawnmower is big enough to hold the blower onto it, but this one obviously is not. You see, look at this one compared to this one. My blower can hold on the back of that right there just fine. And yes, that mower finally has to kick the bucket. So. I'm going to try a few other things with it. Um, I'm going to try and possibly, uh, I'm going to put a new air filter on it and, and, uh, see what that does. That probably won't do anything. 
to put the camera down for a second. So yeah, put, putting a new air filter probably won't do anything, but I'll try it. Uh, hook that right up on there. Works like a charm. You know what I should have done first? Should have cranked up the motor first. I always uh, like to crank up my equipment before I leave uh, to go to the job site. So when I get to the job site, I'm not stranded with a broken piece of equipment that won't run. So, and the, the main two pieces of equipment that I always crank up before I leave are the weed eater lawnmower since I'm not taking the weed eater it's just a lawnmower today the reason I do it with the weed eater is because the choke switch is broke on it I'll show it to you later but the choke switch is bro broke on it it just snapped off one day and uh, so I have to take the air filter off and move the switch from the inside and I need to put some WD-40 on them axles right there business. There we go. Well, I'm going to pick this back up at the client's house because I kind of like to listen to music on the way there and I don't want to get a copyright strike. But anyway, yeah. I just got finished and realized I didn't pull this out once, uh, but I did ask of the client if they didn't mind me filming on their property they uh they said they prefer me not to so i respected their wishes but i got it done it was just the backyard i had to do it took me about maybe 50 minutes or so um then again i am doing it with just, with just that so i got it done uh thursday I have to go out and do another yard, so this video might not be coming out until Thursday or Friday, it depends. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I might pick it back up at house, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much my day when I get home from school. If I don't have to do anything, well, I'll just come home and take a nap. But, yep, this is a... Typical uh, school day in the long care lifestyle, if I might say. But and it's not that far of a walk from my from my house either. The the yard was up that way and around the corner. Like uh like you're going to uh, Jordan Sanders house up the street there, but it's about a block up. It's about a block closer, I should say. And my house is down that street uh, so yeah that's pretty much it uh, uh, I don't like saying uh, but I'm running out of things to say uh, ha, ha, ha. <sighs> I uh, picked a bad day to wear gray and black that's for sure I'll pick this back up at the house. Just got home, already put all my stuff up. Uh, it's like six something, 6.15 I believe. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying uh, but uh, anyway, I will, yeah, I will continue this vlog Thursday. Um, and it'll be over at that one yard I had to do. You know what I keep remembering, but keep putting off doing the bushes across the street there. I don't have anything to trim them with. I'll figure something out. But other than that, I'll be taking you with me on Thursday to do that do that uh, one yard that I had to do for the same guy that manages that property over there that I work for. Uh, 
it was a, it was another yard that he'd given me to do along with the one yard that I did yesterday. So I'll be going to do that on Thursday. Today's Tuesday, keep that in mind. Um, just about before every sentence to say, um, don't I? A buddy of mine might be coming over this weekend and we are probably going to aerate my front yard. And another thing, I left all this crap all over my yard. Next time I do it, I'm going to bag it. And uh, pretty soon, my, a buddy of mine and I, are, he's going to be bringing his truck over here. His, well, I call it a truck because it's body on frame. It's a Ford Explorer. Um, we're going to be pulling up, pulling out that bush and pulling out that one right there. So that's going to be fun. I'll, I'll definitely get that on tape. Other than that, I think I need to give a review on my pressure washer, don't you think? Um, I, I got the thing maybe, yeah, it's, it's been over two months now. So I need to do a test and review of it. I should have filmed, uh, fil filmed when I was doing my house and driveway and sidewalk. By the way, the surface cleaner gave out on me if I haven't mentioned that in a previous video before. I don't think I have. Yeah, I was having too much fun with it. I just went at it and shut down the whole driveway, did the curb all the way up until the property line over there and the property line down here. I did did the whole house. Um 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 So I think I might just sit here and enjoy my evening. I might go inside, uh Watch County Cars. That's a great show, by the way. It's on it's on the History Channel. Um. 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 Well, I'll either I'll either pick this up. Um. There, there I go with the um again. I'll either pick this up tomorrow or Thursday, or maybe if if I see something interesting, I'll pick it up. But other than that, I uh, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Uh, uh, there we go with the uh again. Okay, I, I need to stop that. I'm probably going to go in here and eat the rest of the sushi from last night that I had. Yum, yum, yum. And just sit back and relax. Season's winding down. Got a few more months left. Hmm. And that'll start back up pretty early next year. Actually looking forward to it because pretty soon I'll be getting me some business card print business cards printed up and I'll be getting me some t-shirts and some uh, card magnets for that truck over there one for the passenger side one for the draft side yeah you get it other than that yeah I'll pick it up if I see something interesting Wednesday evening I just got back from church. I go to church on Wednesday evenings. Um, I figured I'd just pick up the camera and say, and, you know, just because why not? Uh, got nothing else to do. I was actually going to go to the back and show y'all a little, uh, just a small electrical fire that broke out last night because there's a short in the circuit. Uh, it was uh, all the GFCI outlets are on one circuit and then all the other outlets are on, are on another circuit for some stupid, for some outrageously stupid reason. So, I figured I'd go back here and show it to y'all. Um, we know exactly what caused it. Uh, my mom shut off the breaker that... What is that? I have no idea what that is. It's something sitting on a table. You see it? It's right there. Neighbors telling you anyway uh, this is where our pool pump was plugged into we have it running in a piece of PVC up to the back porch and it runs up to here I'm starting to think part of it was also the um, extension cord itself but yeah there it is yeah, it's pretty bad melted that a little bit right there 
So yeah, my mom cut off the circuit. This this runs to the front and also the garage. It's all in one circuit. Tells you how codes change every year. Because uh, this house was built in 1998. Um, so yeah, the codes have changed a heck of a lot since then. So that would not meet today's standards. So if that were to be inspected by a licensed electrician, they would not pass it. Or a code enforcer, whoever comes out and inspects that kind of crap. Um, I, I am still going to do that one yard tomorrow. And yeah, I, I don't know what to expect other than it's going to be outrageously tall and I have to bag it. And yeah, there's just three bags from Monday. The rest of it, like I said, we just dumped in the back corner of the yard. So, and I also need to sharpen both my lawnmower blades because this is, this is pitiful. Especially for a somewhat professional landscaper as myself. Letting my yard look like that. It bothers me, because, you know, as a landscaper, lawn guy, whatever the, whatever the heck you want to call me, um, it, for, my, for my yard to look like this, it always bothers me, because, but, but, one of the benefits to uh, having a yard that looks like this is you can experiment anything on it. You can experiment different types of trees, saplings, sods, fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, anything but only in the backyard not you don't want to try all that stuff in the front yard something i have done maybe once or twice before is pruning trees i've trimmed up that one i've trimmed up that one and i've trimmed up the one in the front there that one's coming down along with these two bushes coming out as i mentioned previously and i still haven't done the bushes across the street yet i'm gonna uh borrow some shears from a buddy of mine and get that done because it needs to get done so uh i'll pick this back up whenever it's gonna be very well to turn the slide on right here okay it's friday afternoon guys um i ended up putting off the one yard yesterday I'm, i'll be doing it saturday it'll be coming out in a separate video um it, it was raining yesterday and the thing with rain is if it starts raining and I'm already out of the job site, I'm going to finish the job, okay? But if it starts raining before I go out to the job site, I'm not even going to mess with it. It's not worth it to me. Because I had to bag that, I have to bag that yard too, so. And I need to get bags to put the clippings in. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there will be more coming out just like this one. Um. I'll I'll be uh, I'll be putting out two every week as I promised. I'll be putting out another one on Saturday. Um, and yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up down below. Show the love. Uh, comment down below if uh, if you're trying to hit me up. If you're trying to uh, if you're trying to start a business or if you want to make some extra money before the season ends, which the season doesn't end for me usually till around mid mid to late November, but that's fall cleanup times. I'm pretty sure people will still need you then. But if you need help, come to me. If you know me and like you go to school with me and you watch my videos, then that's great. You can just talk to me in school. If not, hit me up in the comment section down below. Ask me anything you want about, well, anything. I mean, I might not have answers to everything, but I'll try my best. And if I can't answer your question, Google can. Anyway, um... If if you're not subscribed, if you're not subscribed already, please uh please hit that subscribe button. It really does help, guys. Um, and that that'll be it for this video. Uh, be expecting one out Saturday at around. I, I I'm afraid to say what time. I only have that one yard to do. I might have another one to do too. Either way, I'll I'll feature both of them. But other than that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.